Okay, so I want to talk about what I got, what I landed, what I did, what I got signed at Super Jersey Comic Expo uh, yesterday, October 28th. So first thing I want to talk about is uh, the books I got signed. Okay, so the first book I got signed was ASM 365 uh, by Rick Leonardi. We did that art for that um, interior page of the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. We also signed a 20, ASM 2099 number one, and ASM 253, which is the first appearance of Richard Fisk, son of Wilson Fisk, who becomes uh, the Rose. And then uh, my Punisher number one of the limited series that I got signed by uh, Carl Potts. My Toxic Avenger, number one, newsstand. I got double signed by Rodney Ramos and Bob Sharon. The Vision and the Scarlet Witch, volume one, number one, got was double signed by Rick Leonardi and Bob Sharon. My Iron Man 170, which was the first appearance of Rhodey as Iron Man, was signed by Bob Sharon. And then uh, lastly, was for grading anyways, was a Spectacular Spider-Man number 24, which is the first uh, hip, Hypno Hustler. I got that signed by uh, Bob Sharon as well. Then these are two books I I got signed by uh, Scott Hanna, but I did not send them out for grading because they're, they're just not valuable books at all. Not first appearance, nothing major, uh, but they're cool. So Spider-Man Deadpool number six, got that signed. And then uh, Miles' current run, 36, which he did some work on, also signed. He only charged me for one signature to sign them both, so that was cool. All right, so real quick, these were just some books I grabbed out of Dollar Bins from uh, Comic Relief from Tom's River. They had, I don't even know, man, they must have had... 40 long boxes of dollar bin books that had really decent stuff in it um, Where you wouldn't typically but find these books in dollar bins. They would be in like three dollar bins five dollar bins, but uh, It was definitely the busiest booth I've seen so Amazing spider-man 368 Amazing 377 Tomb number one 2099 Hulk 226 Hulk 230 Hulk 231, 232, 238, 287, 295, 296, Iron Man 179, 185, uh, some of the new Avengers run. Oh, I'm always a sucker for this run. Uh, 17. This is volume 1. 19. This was a cover grab. 26. 31. Also a cover grab. We got Electra and uh, I believe that's um, Sila. Uh, I'm a sucker for these covers as well. So this was the Star Wars uh, number 14 variant cover, the 50th anniversary uh, movie covers. So from the New Hope, this was from the Rise of Skywalker. This was obviously from Rogue One. And then we got Thor 393, I'm sorry, 293, 294. Uh, Titans 28, which is one of the ones I'm missing. And X-Men 243. X-Men Annual number 6. And I already own this, but this is uh, X-Men Annual number 10. First appearance of the X-Babies. Uh, so that one, those were the dollar bin finds. Okay, this was the one big find I kind of had of the day. Wasn't really looking for it, but saw this baby on the wall at a price of 80 bucks. So I asked to see it. I said, how bad is it? The guy's like, it's definitely poor, but it's all there. So the cover is split. 
it's completely in two pieces, three pieces if you count the book. Um, you know, some chipping, this color, just, you know, it's a 0.5 book. Uh, so as soon as he handed it to me, he's like, oh, I could do a little better. I could probably go down to 65. So uh, there was no Wi-Fi there. So I pretended like I was on my phone looking some stuff up. And I was just like, dude, this book is bad. I was like, I'll give you 40 bucks for it. So as I was pretending like I was on the phone, he was pretending to make a phone call. And he comes back and says, he said he could have it for 40. So I landed the first appearance at Rhino at a 0.5 to be fair for 40 bucks so i was pretty excited um and i looked this up when i got home the lowest 0.5 raw copy i could find i was listed for like 150 bucks so i think that was a steal i also grabbed some of these prints posters whatever you want to call them they're so big i can't even get them in the camera this was uh last year's they had this one for like five bucks but obviously awesome homage and then they did another homage um so super jersey comic expo of the first mephisto um this was done by keith williams and bob sharon who were both there so i actually got them both to sign it which i think is awesome so this is probably my uh second favorite thing that i got from the day other than that uh first rhino um and then you know the Got a bunch of goodies, the lanyards, some free stickers. I was entered in a drawing for the uh, G.I. Joe, number one out of nine, eight. I got to hang with the Izzy from the Izzyverse for a little bit. I ran into some other people I knew. So uh, overall, it was an awesome day. The event was um, in the main floor this year, and everybody was excited about it. I gotta say, I kind of liked it better in the basement a little bit. Um, I don't know why. I think just because the way it was broken up a little differently. I just felt there was no no control over this one because, you know, people from other events that were going on in the building were just kind of like walking through. So it kind of created a bigger crowd than that what was really there. Uh, but overall, I mean, it was still awesome. Still my, my, my favorite con to go to. A one day event, tons of artists, uh, you know, obviously a CGC facilitator was there uh, and just loved everything about it, man. So hope you like this video. And if you're ever interested in going and you want to know some feedback, skip these big cons like New York Comic Con and come down to this because this thing is just freaking awesome. So once a year, hope you like my video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Where do I start with all this stuff? Where do I start?